that quad four and Q4 officially now. Um, so obviously WTI has effectively collapsed over in the past 24 hours. It's down eight to nine percent. Um, that's had a pretty dramatic impact on our, our inflation now cast for Q4. Um, in terms of the quarter to day signal, obviously we're only two days into the quarter, uh, but we're tracking it uh, minus six basis points day over day in terms of our headline CPI forecast. Uh, that's at one spot 03 percent. So as you can tell, that's actually down uh, from where we were in Q3. Um, so that's, you know, now that, now that obviously puts us in a quad four in terms of the inflation uh, aspect of that forecast. Um, the updated conditional probabilities associated uh, with quad three in terms of the quad three versus quad four debate. Quad three now down at 40.7 um, and quad four up at 56.8. Um, you know, I remind you, you know, that the, the quads themselves are just the e economic forecast. Um, you know, we're using the economic forecast, obviously, to anticipate, you know, changes in the, in the regi volatility regimes of, you know, key market signals. But more importantly, we're using the market signals to front run eventual changes in, in economic data that other investors are likely to have to be have to respond to. Um, this is why we care so much about, you know, whether or not we're on one side of the boundary or the other. Um, I had a really good discussion the other day with one of our clients up in Boston. He's like, yeah, like three basis points seems like a lot. Well, I'm like, if we cross that boundary, it's going to seem like a lot in risk off terms if you're not positioned for that. Um, and I think investors are kind of finding that out this morning with the NASDAQ down 2% uh, in, in futures terms. Um, you know, we were on the call yesterday with some of our top clients, um, and, you know, Keith made this point several times. He said, if you put a gun to my head, and obviously we don't, we're not putting guns to Keith's head, but he said yesterday afternoon, if you put a gun to my head, I'd probably put the quad four portfolio on today. And this is yesterday afternoon. And obviously, you know, the, the gun, if you think about all the decisions Keith's been making, you know, really since the dollar started to signal uh, in, uh, higher lows in this risk range, you know, the land of August, you know, you had NASDAQ rising with rising volatility at the end of August. Starting from that point all the way to today, there have been a series of macro risk management decisions um, through the lens of Keith's price volume volatility model, through the lens of my quads, through the lens of all the different indicators that we're looking at to get us to these points that continuously said the probability of quad three and Q4 is falling at the same time the probability of quad four is rising. And now we wake up this morning, you know, we, we got obviously a newsy headline day with Trump sickness. I'll touch on that later. We got the jobs report that was disappointing. Uh, we had a series of disappointing data uh, yesterday I can hit on. And now we're here. And so what do you do from here, right? You know, like that's the, that's the whole point of the process, right? Like, um, you know, so what do you do from here? You look at what Keith did yesterday in, in real time alerts, uh, not, you know, going to net short tech. Um, right now he's short um, uh, semiconductors, short Google, uh, short Slack. Um, again, this is all, you know, with the VXN, the NASDAQ volatility index failing to break down below uh, trend support. You know, it's at, uh, I want to say 35 this morning. Um, again, you had Apple, again, we called all these things out yesterday. You had Apple volatility rising alongside its price, which is a bearish leading indicator. Um, you had implied volatility discounts for the past week or so um, in the Qs and tech um, and Apple and Microsoft. And then, you know, so you add all those things together. You know, what you're effectively trying to do is spot instability in a fractally oriented ecosystem. Now, someone who's navel gazing at price, someone who's navel gazing at the Apple's price, you know, someone who's just a tech investor, someone who's just a U.S. investor, someone who siloed themselves for God knows what reason other than their mandate won't see these things as a fractally oriented ecosystem that is beginning to become unstable. The whole point of our process to identify these things and identify those parts of the ecosystem that are going to effectively, um, in, a, in an interconnected manner, affect other parts of the ecosystem. This is how we get ahead of consensus with these big quad pivots, particularly quad four, if consensus is not set up to, uh, to risk manage those appropriately.